So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And thank you for joining GLOW today. And we want to special, especially thank the uh, partners for GLOW. Can we see that slide, Alabo? There we go. Those are the partners that made this possible for us and for many other organizations. Thank you very much. And do please share your thoughts and reflections using the hashtags shown on this screen. And as a reminder, this session is being recorded. And thank you so much for joining our session today. My name is Julie Shively, and I'm the founder of Innovation World, a K-16 resource for innovators, inventors, entrepreneurs, and the educators who inspire and support these students. Hello, my, my name is Jake Mendelson, and I am the co-founder of inventfuture.global, and that's a coalition of organizations around the world who are supporting youth innovation uh, youth education, and Julie and I are the co-founders of the Global Innovation Field Trip, which is also called GIFT. And uh, we'd like to start by showing you a short video uh, about what GIFT is and how it impacts the world. The world is changing and education must change with it. Imagine a world where students take the lead in innovating solutions where collaboration raises the level of their work from good to exceptional, and where students are celebrated not for their scores, but for their societal impact. We invite you to be a part of the largest effort to connect and celebrate student innovators from around the globe. The Innovation Field Trip, also called GIFT, takes your students beyond the classroom to encourage and inspire cross-border collaboration and world learning. GIFT is the online 24-hour multi-country collaboration celebrating young innovators and those who educate, inspire, and sponsor innovation. Through GIFT, students are invited to present their stories of innovation at this prestigious event to their contemporaries, educators, and program leaders across the world, building their self-esteem, confidence, and skill in verbal communication. Students are not only celebrated for their innovative achievements, but they are also afforded the unique opportunity to look at the world beyond their home communities as they observe presentations from other students from distant countries and cultures. As an innovative online, open, and inclusive platform, GIFT enables students from every corner of our world to participate. Ideas apps, inventions, innovative programming, social good, and innovation education. 11 global events, 763 presentations, 56 countries and growing. There exists no age, gender, race, or geographic border defining who can become an innovator. Global Innovation Field Trip, celebrating young innovators worldwide. Thank you, Alabelle. And today we wanted to share with you and invite you to be part of the largest effort to connect and celebrate student innovators from around the globe. The Global Innovation Field Trip, or GIFT, is experiential world learning at its very best, offering new methods of showcasing and recognizing student innovators and educational programs which support and inspire innovation. The design is very intentionally inclusive to allow students from all ages, um, all economic statuses and from any country in the world to participate and to encourage students to explore commonalities, interests, and collaborations with their contemporaries throughout the world. Launched first at the start of the pandemic um, and in spite of restrictions to celebrate youth innovation, this quarterly 24-hour multi-country celebration of youth innovation has proven itself invaluable as a leading tool to reinvigorate the mission of parents, educators, and program leaders around the world 
to prioritize youth innovation in all fields and all career paths. To date, GIFT has hosted 763 presentations, 1160 presenters from six, 56 countries. And what started as a 24 hour event hosted by four uh, US hosts has evolved into typically hosted by 30 hosts, many of those young students, some of them sitting on this call today from 15 different countries. And so we want to celebrate with you and share with you all gift today and invite you to become a part of it. Great, thank you, thank you, Julie. Um, many times people think education is just a transfer of information. And if that's all education was, then you would just buy a book and read it. But as educators, we really have a unique opportunity to change students' lives, not just with information, but with their thoughts and their ideas. So the goal of GIFT is to expand their intercultural communications, to develop cooperation and collaboration among students from different countries and different cultures and different environments, to enable the students to express their own ideas, actions and accomplishments in their own voice on a global stage. Um, GIFT takes your students beyond the classroom and encourages them to see what out there is out there in the real world. Um, we are essentially a platform for students to showcase what they have done, what they would like to be doing, and what they hope to do, and then gives them an opportunity to expand their confidence and their credibility to the world. Um, one of the things that we always forget to mention all though, is that GIFT is free. We're not doing this to make money, we're doing this to make the future. And that's what these students are doing. So GIFT is an opportunity for innovative schools to showcase what they are doing, um, for the students in the schools to talk about their lives and their careers and the things that they are doing. So I hope you will join us to be part of GIFT and bring your program and your students to the 21st century on a world stage. And now I think it's time for the old people to stop talking. We have some wonderful students here who've been part of this. And uh, we have our, ah, where is our student um, host? Oh, Samyak, there you are, I'm sorry. Samyak is now going to take over and the young people of the future will run the rest of the program. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Mr. Jake, for that great introduction. So hi, everyone. Um, I'm Sam Max from Ali. I am currently a senior at Jesuit High School in Portland, Oregon, USA. I am an avid researcher throughout high school. I've conducted interdisciplinary AI research and developed several tools to mitigate problems like hospital applied infections, food insecurity, climate change, and congenital heart disease. And along with research, I'm also a devoted STEM and hand hygiene activist. Through my nonprofit work with the nonprofit initiative, I started Sanjeevni. I've hosted different innovation workshops for thousands of students and reached countless during the COVID-19 pandemic to encourage hand washing. I'm also the lead youth ambassador for Innovation World and part of the GIFT planning team. And my involvement with GIFT started in my freshman year of high school and ever since, I've been fascinated by its widespread impact in the educational field. And I look forward to every gift because it shows me the potential us students have to improve the future of our world through problem solving and creative thinking. So today we have a number of students and educators with us who will reflect on their experiences with gift. So let's get right into it. Let's talk to the students first. So students, can we go around and introduce yourselves briefly explaining who you are, some of your accomplishments, how many times you've been on GIFT, and as an icebreaker, who your favorite innovator or scientist is. So um, let's start with Arushi. Sure, um, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Arushi, and I'm from Toronto, right in Canada. And I'm a grade eight student, and I'm really passionate about maths, science, robotics, and coding. And for the past several years now, I've been making projects with the dad. And um, so, for example, some of these projects have won me very high awards, like um, my project on detecting unknown asteroids won me the top award at the Canada Wide Science Fair 2022. Also, um, in 2020, I won the Global NASA Best Award um, 
So I was one of the top six in the whole world for my project on measuring the changes in my environment during the COVID-19 lockdowns. I've made several more presentations and projects, and right now I've done more than eight presentations at the Global Innovation Field Trip in the past couple of years. And my favorite innovator or scientist, um, I'm not too sure, but one of my role models is um, one of the Canadian astronauts called Jennifer City. Um, she, I had the opportunity to meet her at the Canadian Space Agency, and she's very interested in combustion and is currently an astronaut. So it was really cool meeting her, and I think that's one of my role models. Wow, that's, that's so cool. Um, let's go to Gia next. Um, hello, everybody. I am Jianak Paj from India. I'm a grade six student, 11 year old inventor, and I am a certified game developer, app developer, 3D designer, and web developer. To, uh, my 12 apps are already published on Google Play Store. I have my website, jianakpal.atwebpages.com, which is designed and developed by me. And I have participated in the GIF gift for about eight times and i've hosted and i've co-hosted the gift about three times for me the biggest motivation is life in life is presenting in gift all the projects i've made the motivation behind them is presenting in gift as i need to innovate or create something to present in gift wow that's also very cool um alex do you want to go next I think there might be some issue with your audio. Um, maybe you can try to debug that and then we can come back to you. So um, Robert, do you wanna go next? Mm, okay, so my name is Robert. I like skiing, kayaking and doing experiments. I have won different medals at the World Educational Robotics Competitions. I have a few inventions. Um, me and my brother got £40,000 at Dragon's Den in Romania to open our invention shop. I've been on GIF four times and my favourite inventor or innovator is Nikola Tesla. Wow, Tesla is also one of my favourite innovators of all time. So that's, that's very cool. Um, Siddharth, do you want to go next? Okay, so my name is Siddharth Vikram. I am nine years old and my interests are science, math, astrophysics, engineering, let's see what else, reading, video gaming, and there are more, but that's it. And my, some of the things that I have, uh, some of the things that I've thought of is um, a type of Mars rover, I, yeah, and a type of nanobot and a bunch of other things, but those are some. Um, Let's see, what else have I got here? Okay, yeah. So, um, I want to just thank Jake and Julie because um, before at a one of the podcasts, which I podcast which I was on, they actually told me to write write a letter to two people that I two people that I really like like that are famous, and they are. One, Elon Musk, who is an engineer, and two, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, who's an astrophysicist. I actually wrote letters, and I got a letter back from Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I completely thank Jake and, Ju uh, Jake and Julie for that. So that's me. Wow, that's so cool that you got a letter back. That's, that's amazing. Um, Alex, hopefully, fingers crossed, the audio works now. Oh, I think you may be on mute. Can yeah, everyone yeah, hear me now? Yeah, okay. yeah, it works. Uh, hello, I'm Alex Samuel S. Makaisa, grade 5. I'm a Filipino homeschooler based in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I've accomplished a few things on GIF. For example, I've won the K-12 challenge um, Delicious and nutritious food challenge, I guess. Yeah. Um, my hobbies are 
uh, cubing, programming, and yeah, I, I do also do gaming. Oh, that's also very cool. It's, it's very cool to be with so many young innovators, researchers tackling some of society's prominent problems and all of your achievements really also inspires me being being a young innovator and scientist. So um, very, very cool, amazing, great work. Um, let's get into um, when and how you first heard about GIFT and what aspects of GIFT really appealed you to um, present on GIFT or be a part of GIFT in any way. So let's go in the same order that we started with. So Arushi, Gia, Robert, Siddharth, and Alex. Sure. So um, I actually heard about GIFT at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic because during the pandemic, I was not able to go to in-person events anymore. So I started looking for online events that I could present at. And that's where I found out about the Global Innovation Field Trip on social media. And I found that this was a great platform because I always believe the best way to fully master a subject is to present it to others and to present it to others in a way that anyone can understand it with no background knowledge on your subject. So whether it's someone on the street that you met or just some of your classmates, anyone should be able to understand your project. And that's where GIFT comes in. GIFT provides a global platform of youth where youth innovators can come together and present on their projects to other youth and they in turn can do the same. And this way, um, everyone can present to everyone. And I found like it was a really cool platform and the best part is that you're able to ask questions to other innovators. And when I found people asking questions to my project, I found that this is a way to make sure that other, I was able to convey my project to other people because they were able to fully understand it and ask relevant questions. During COVID, when I was doing an online app development course from Makers Dunya. Um, I was doing a app development course. So my mentor told me about gift. It was like a life changing moment for me. And after that, I participated in each and every gift almost. And I would also like to thank Judy, Mam, and Jake, sir, for this opportunity. Sounds good. Robert, do you want to go next? I think there might be problem with your audio now. Um... Oh, sorry, I forgot to unmute. Oh, okay. Sounds um, good. So I first discovered GIFT through the STEM Center and I loved it because I always came up with these ideas and I'd tell them to my mom. And um, I wouldn't know what to do with them and nor would she. And then um, I'd go to a STEM Center every Saturday to do robotics. And then the teacher told me about GIFT and that I can say all my ideas there and present them. And I really, lo and I'm, I really loved it. Wait, am I going next? I yeah, yeah. So how did I first find out of GIFT? Okay, let's see. So remember how I told you about my rover idea? So I submitted this, this to a um, to the National Museum of Education Student Ideas for a Better America um, in 2021. And after that, I went to the list of sponsors and then a gift showed up. So here I am for gift. <laughs> and what aspects of guilt that appealed to me? Um, well, it's a very encourage, encouraging platform. It's, it, gives, it gives the speakers positive feedback by experts and it'll help them in my, their ideas and mine. <laughs> it, you have an opportunity to listen and learn from other innovators, which is amazing. And that's, that, that's like, I really would like to thank GIFT. Okay, um, now I'll also answer that question. Um, I first heard about GIFT when my mom stumbled on a post on July last year. We just played it on our computers, listening to it. 
but on October last year, yeah, still last year, um, we did our first presentation. It was about candy for kids. Wow, that's all. That's all so cool. So we've all had various different experiences of how we got involved with gift and different aspects of gift or gift that really appealed to us. And and it's very cool to see how um, everyone's like diverse perspectives that they bring to gift have really shaped how how gift is currently. So um, it's it's very cool to really get to know everyone's perspective. So let, let's get a little bit deeper into individually what what each of us have like presented um and looking back like what what skills do you think you've gained from your presentations or involvement with gift so the same order let's continue with the same order okay great so um i've given several presentations at gift over the past two years and the topics are very varied um they're based on what i'm curious about at the moment which is why since i've been curious about plaque defense and the risk of asteroids hitting the Earth in the past couple months. I have made several projects on that subject, whether it's about searching for asteroids, tracking asteroids, simulating asteroid impacts. I've given all those types of presentations I've given. Another type of presentation related to planetary defense that I have given, I just want to talk more about. Um, this is about when um, the DART mission impacted the asteroid um, Didymos a couple of months ago. And I wanted to measure the changes of this mission on um, the asteroid to contribute to system science. So I was looking at the changes in the orbital period and the rotational period of this asteroid, both before and after the dark impact to measure the changes. And I presented that on the GIF too. Um, but also, um, as I mentioned before, I was presenting at GIF during the COVID-19 lockdowns. And there um, I was sitting at home and I noticed some changes in my environments. There was more bird chirping on the road, less cars on the road. So I wanted to know what other changes had happened in my environment, which is why I wanted I measured the changes in sound, pollution, night lights, and several other factors, both before and after the lockdown, and displayed this into a musical. And this is the project that won me the global winner of the NASA COVID-19 Space Apps Challenge in 2020. And um, also during COVID-19, I, I was sitting at home for long hours and I was getting bored. And this led me to thinking, how would astronauts feel sitting in a spaceship for several months without nothing to do, without families to see, without friends to see or talk to? So that's why I created a rumor called MarsBot, Make an Astronaut Smile Bot, which detected emotions of astronauts using open computer vision and machine learning and made different movements based on those emotions. So um, those are the main ideas of seven or eight presentations I've done at GIFT. Um, so well, I have presented in GIFT like about for eight times. So what I have presented, the list is very long. Let me try to summarize it. I've presented my Android apps, my dollhouse converted into a smart home using sensors, my other Arduino and Microbit projects, my web, my website, my automatic pet feeder, lemon piano, and much more. And actually, GIF provides me a motivation to create and present something new every quarter. And joining GIF was like a life-changing moment for me. I have not only participated in the GIF presentations, in fact, through GIFT, I got to know about many other challenges. I participated in the food challenge, the education challenge, the nutrition, nutritious and delicious food challenge. And I also gained connections with so many industry experts around the globe and made friends in di from different parts of the world. I improved on my communic communication and presentation skills. And Julie, Mam and Jake, sir, have always been a big support for me. Um, so I'm next. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so at GIFT, I've presented a few inventions. I've presented a camping table for soil and sand that gets inserted in the, into the soil, and it, it doesn't fall over when it gets too windy, when tiny siblings decide to push it, or um, when the slope is uneven when you put it because me and my family love to go camping and yeah that always happens i also made a paper hand protection 
by public toilets because when you go in, um, you go to the toilet, you come out, you wash your hands, then you have to open the door to get out. But sometimes people don't wash their hands, so the handle is dirty. So this hand protection, you put it on your hand, which glue, with glue, and um, it's not that strong to make your hands dirty again, but it's strong enough to stick to your hand for you to open the door. Then you peel it off and you throw it in the bin. And I've also presented an irrigation system that hydrates plants based on the humidity of the soil. Um, and I've, and yeah, that's all. Thank you. So, me. So I said that I've been presenting on GIF four times, and I'll tell you the order. One, it was way back in January. I came. I thought of this idea of making the COVID shot a gummy so kids could eat it and actually not get pained while getting getting more healthy. It has a it's kind of gelatin with sugar and then the um the medicine is mixed inside and I'm I li I literally tested it on my well I didn't test it but I but I know that everybody prefers a gummy than a shot. Am I correct about that? I'm vote. I'm just vote. I, I vote. It's that was just some applause. But well, that's my COVID gummy. Next, I thought of this nanobot idea where a nanobot goes into the body, hooks onto white blood cells. The white blood cells will just take them to any invaders in the body, in the body, and then the robot will, the nanobot actually, will kill the invader because that helps the body protect itself. And it won and and then I I thought of a poison ivy detector um, sticker, which kind of what is a kind of a patch that you put on your gloves and any clothing that when you touch poison ivy it turns a different color, and then boom, you're gonna stay away from that. And it took and next I updated my nanobot idea because I was like, huh. Wait a minute. Could the light not reach that far into the body? And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Maybe sound can. So that was my update, along with a few other updates on the content. Because I had to, I reached out to the people that were, that were, that are in the, in the field. And that kind of gave me a better idea. So that's how what I presented at GIFT. And and wait, do we I do the other question? Is there another question? Okay, so so yeah, yeah. The, the okay. next question is, what skills have you gained from gift? Do we do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 can you can say it right now. So I've gained from gift how to structure my talk and presentations, which really helps me out on a lot of my other presentations, and I learned about many in many innovations and creative ideas that were just mind-blowing <laughs> and how to be encouraging to other people's ideas and help them and give good comments and um, allow them to support and it take and give well it's just amazing so this is what I've gained from gift Yeah, I think it's my turn. Well, the aspects that appealed to me from GIFT was its diversity. Uh, since it's all around the world, there's different problems all around the world. Like, yeah. So, yeah, different solutions. And um, what have I presented in GIFT? Um, uh, first, I presented Bioplastic and co-hosted and uh the third gift i co -ho i co-hosted only um the fourth one i co-hosted and presented about denim slayer the fifth is i the, the most recent one i did co-host and all about cubes um uh yeah at, at the at the first time i went to gift i was all 
shivering, not knowing what to say. Now that I have um, been gift um, for many times now, I I've learned what to say and uh, have gained more confidence in talking on gift. Um, I think what I've gained from gift was my social skills um, and communication skills. Like what I said. Wow. Yeah. So that that's great. Um, wow. So I learned a lot about each each and every one of you guys, or what you guys have been working on, and what you've presented, and what skills and what what output gift has produced for you. So I'm wondering. A lot of us talked about like co collaboration, meeting industry experts, um, getting to know other peers who are presenting innovative ideas. So I'm wondering how like different perspectives of other students on GIFT have changed your thinking or made you realize something new about the world. And would you recommend GIFT to um, your school peers and people your age and should they participate in GIFT? Um, sure. So. Um... Me personally, um, GIFT has changed um, the way I'm thinking because it's also given me hope seeing that you all around the world have different opinions and we all think in a similar way. Like even without visiting all the countries in the world, I can see that all you want to actively make a difference in their community and in their country. And they all have innovative ideas. And that's something that was really eye-opening to me. And it was amazing. Like I saw people from India, different parts of Africa, all around the world, just talking about different ideas, whether it's a biomimicry, making drones, measuring water quality. Um, and I would really recommend um, GIFT um, to other people my age. Like I've already used some of my GIFT presentations as show and tells in school. And I found it really entertaining to how GIFT can cover so many topics at once, like 24 hours, literally all topics are covered. So I think it's a really good opportunity for you to learn more about whatever your subject you're interested in, because the subject will most likely be there. Um, whenever I watch the students on GIF, I get to learn a lot. I get an idea about what else I can do. I get inspired and motivated after watching them. And it's like a booster dose for me to innovate and create something new and present at GIF. And yeah and pe do you do you think people my age should participate in gift yes i recommend my friends to participate in the gift my younger sister she's uh, six she's seven years old and she's also participated in gift three times my cousin brother has also participated in gifts for gift for about two times so um i keep motivating other people to participate on this amazing platform as well Robert, I think you might be on mute again. So um, I love seeing how many young people got so creative and came up with such wonderful ideas that everybody could benefit from. Because um, when and also, do I think my school peers, peers and people my age should also participate in GIFT? Well, yes, I think everybody who wants to create something that would help us all and the planet can find GIFT a great place to do that. It's a place where your ideas are being listened to and you are being encouraged to go forward and cre create whatever came into your mind in the first place. Plus, um, in a way, you can make the impossible come possible because some things you can't just do your at home. But if you reach out, you end up being able to do them. So, okay, it's my turn now. So I'll just say, yes, I would absolutely recommend GIFT to every, uh, well, to other students. And I actually told it to my teacher and she shared it with the class. I just want to tell you that just yesterday, we had this um, presentation that we had to do about like this all about me thing. And I put a bit of GIFT into it because GIFT is like amazing and I would just say that gift it, everybody should be in gift and like 
people in gift ha- will let anybody in that has an innovative idea. So uh, my answer is absolutely. And is there any other question I was supposed to answer? No, no, I think that was all. So thank you for sharing your perspective. Well, yeah, I think it's my turn. So, um, the um, uh, I think the biggest thing that I learned from Gift was sense of going on all over the world. It's like my news, yearly news, and how other kids are solving those problems. Um, uh, the the other question says, um, what has been the most fun part of Gift? For me, the most fun part about GIFT was its mashup. It, it's a very fun mashup. Um, my perfect, can, I, uh, can I just add to that, Alex, what a mashup is real okay, quick? Okay, okay. A mashup is a open segment that, that we leave there and we invite all of our student co-hosts and students from around the world to join us for an unscripted hour of talking about whatever's important to youth innovators. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You're right. Thanks, Alex. Oh, um, I forgot uh, one question, sorry. Uh, would I recommend GIF? Yes, I'd recommend GIF for an age, um, for everyone. I'd recommend GIF for everyone. Anyone can make an... Uh, Make a way to change the world. Yeah. Yeah, same. I think personally, I would recommend GIFT for everyone too. I think GIFT is an amazing opportunity for young innovators, researchers, even adults to come and present the work they've been doing so others can learn from it. I think it really helps develop like collaboration skills. You, look, you get to learn about diverse perspectives from around the world. Um, you get to meet industry experts. And I think it's a great platform. Um, so thank you, change makers, young change makers. Um, I think now we'll move on to talking to the educators and get to know a little bit more about their perspectives on GIFT and their reflections. So uh, we have two educators here today. Um, educators, would you like to um, introduce yourself and talk a little bit about how your experience with GIFT has been like? Miss um, Claire, I think you can go first. Okay, thanks, Amyak. Um, so hi, I'm Claire Evans. I'm the Chief Learning Officer at School of Humanity. School of Humanity is an online high school with an interdisciplinary curriculum and innovative learning model. Um, and prior to joining School of Humanity, I was the founder of an invention education program in Chile. Um, and this program was what well, I personally was very much mentored by Jake um, for setting up this program. So he really helped me um, develop the program. So thank you very much for Jake, <laughs> to Jake for that. Um, and so originally participating in GIFT, um, I think I've participated in some capacity in almost every GIFT that there's been, either as a presenter or an educator or a host or also as a parent. Um, so I really have been involved in, in many different um, aspects and um, just, I mean, it's just such a great program. Um, so I'll talk maybe more about it a bit later, but I'd like to pass it over to Eliville to present herself first. Thank you, Claire. So hello everyone, I'm Eliville Makaisa. I'm a Filipino homeschool mom based here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So we call our homeschool, wonderfully made kids homeschool and We've been participating in GIFT since last year. Uh, my son is Alex, which is here with, who's here with here, us right now. And basically the first time I was introduced to GIFT was July last year. I somehow came across a post on Facebook and though the presenter was finished, the one who actually posted about it, I realized it was going on and on and other kids were coming on the screen and innovators. And it was just fascinating to see all these people with amazing ideas. And I was sold from that moment on. I mean, we made it sure that we were able to present during the next GIF, which was October. And we've been part of GIF since then. Yeah, wow. So that's, that's amazing. Um... 
yeah so can we can we expand a little bit more upon like um how how like in what capacity have you been involved in gift like how many students of yours have been on gift um what really attracted you to um gift in the first place and um really really how gift has expanded like your students intercultural communication skills and develop like community cross um cross board yeah sure um so originally uh we participated um as with learners from the the intervention education program based in chile and then actually during the pandemic we we spread out and um had learners from various latin american countries um so they were they were learning how to invent how to innovate and the invention education program finished with a a, a fair an invention fair a feria de inventos um and the the learners who participated in that were learning about how to do public speaking and how to present online um and those basically those who were selected for a special award were invited to come and present on gift so it was like an extra part of their their prize if you like um for having gone through that program um and so this really gave them an opportunity to to share with the world the work that they had done to celebrate their achievements um and it also gave them a challenge we actually had a, a block of time blocked out where they presented in spanish um and the co-hosts who joined us were from spanish-speaking countries and were able to ask questions in spanish so it gave them it just basically gave them that that opportunity to um to share with the world what they've been doing um and some of them actually chose to present in english and i think that's something that's really important to highlight um is that the you know many of the presenters present in english so and it's not necessarily their first language um so it really does give them an opportunity to to and an incentive as well to learn english and to practice their english communication um which is of course a very important skill um for for them for their future um more recently um since i've been uh, the chief learning officer at school of humanity um we've had learners who that the school of humanity learning approach is through challenge based learning um and so the learners tackle real world challenges um through an interdisciplinary lens so they look at many different perspectives um at how to solve problems either locally or or globally um in many situations or in many cases they choose themselves to collaborate and they'll they'll work in a team to solve a problem um and then as part of the program they actually share their prototypes or their their innovations their ideas their solutions to the the problem that they've identified they will share that in our global showcase at school of humanity um and then whenever whenever there's a gift opportunity i'll reach out to the learners and say who would like to present their um their challenge in gift and and i mean it just gives them an extra opportunity to to take it further so they've they've presented already and then they have another opportunity to present again um which i think they are very grateful for and and from from our point of view at school of humanity we like to um encourage the learners to take these opportunities and to practice you know public speaking and and sharing um the work that they've done and celebrating what they've done um with the world so it really does open the horizons even further i think i'll i'll pass it over to alevil now thank you claire so for us well i have to be honest the first time i thought of gift i really wanted my students my kids to be part of it since they are the ones that were directly uh, involved in our learning experience but i also was able to include other learners other homeschoolers and get them in, to join in various ways like in co-hosting and in presenting their ideas so one of the things that we've learned with gift is how to be more creative and be innovative so the spaces that they've opened up for us are just mind-boggling for me like because of gift we've been introduced to other innovators and those programs such as the one from Korea Indonesia have allowed our kids to join in other international competitions and challenges because they are also part of the gift team and then there are also things such as um being able to lead a project called art art for peace which we were able to do last april as 
our way of responding to the call of the times because that was when the war in Ukraine broke out and we wanted to give the students a voice, an opportunity to um, share their ideas about peace in their artwork and then showcase it to a, an international audience. So we wanted to be able to do that. And that has been amazing. The ability to be able to collaborate and to get um, other people from all around the world, all kids from all around the world work on a project together or even just have an opportunity to um, be inspired by each other. That is something that I really feel GIFT has been able to do. We talk as homeschoolers, we talk about the world is our classroom. But I didn't really understand that until we became part of this team. And Jake and Julie, we have to thank you for that, for opening this to us. Since really it's amazing to be able to be able to talk with other kids, see them, be part of uh, something way bigger than our own uh, homeschool at home. So I'd like to just give a shout out to Jake and Julie for their wonderful idea. Yeah, so I think GIFT is definitely a great platform for, um, I think, all educators to encourage their, their students to come and present, develop various skills, collaborate with other people, gain industry connections. I think overall, um, GIFT, GIFT really um, is, is something that will help solve future problems and that will be through youth innovators. And um, my last question for, for the educators is I'm wondering specifically um, what technical soft skills or like industry connections have your students gained from GIF? Yeah, I mean, I think that the, the obvious one, of course, is the public speaking. So being able to um, present on a global stage, knowing that there are people from around the world watching. I mean, it's no easy feat. So, um, you know, learning confidence and learning the ability to present and, and to control a a PowerPoint or a Canva presentation whilst they're doing so, that's that's in itself a great skill that they've learned. Um, learning just even how to participate in a Zoom webinar, which is different from a Zoom meeting, for example, and understanding what a panelist is and, and how to how to work in that kind of setup um, is, a, is a great skill as well. The English communication, of course, um, and also um, learning how to um, interact with questions and answers. So if co-hosts are asking them questions, um, how to respond to that um, are also great skills. Um, what other skills? I think those those are sort of the, the main ones, the, the main ones that I would say. Um, but certainly just the idea that, you know, that, that, that it's a global stage and that they are talking to an audience from around the world. Um, I think that's very impactful. Um, and just, uh, yeah, I think that, that those were the main ones that I would say. And networking as well. I'll throw that in as well. Um, networking either with their co-hosts or with other learners or when they've stayed on, for example, Alex mentioned the mashup, then they stay on sometimes and they participate in that as well. And again, they get to talk to learners from around around the world and, and share their opinions and their, and their views and their experiences and their culture. Um, so definitely a, 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 an important skill as well, of course, is, is uh, global competence. They become a lot more globally competent and able to communicate with people from around the world. I agree, definitely. So the communication aspect is, of course, number one. And then collaboration, which is so important during these times, like we might be in different parts of the world, but we are virtually connected. And this is something that our students as um, people of the future will have to really just accept that this is part of what they will have to do. They will have to be able to communicate and collaborate with people from different cultures and geography. geography. So um, having a um, compassion also is something that they've developed. I think the ability to empathize with how others are doing because there are problems. Um, my son shared about the fact that he co-hosted with a presenter that was from a very poor um, situation. So he got his inventions by going through junk. And that's how he innovated and created his invention. So that's something that he um, does not experience, but he was amazed at 
the ability to innovate and invent. And that also inspired him to do better in what he is doing. And I guess um, critical thinking and problem solving, these skills are also being developed as they are able to learn how to connect their ideas to the global problems like the UN SDGs, the um, Sustainable Development Goals are also uh, being talked about in this platform and they are encouraged to take part in the challenges that solve those problems. So we have a brighter future because of these things. Can, can I just add one one um, additional note as well? Um, from a from an educator point of view, it's a very valuable experience as well. Um, from networking or from seeing what learners are doing around the world, from seeing the different types of organisations around the world as well. Um, you know, it might be that in your school you have a robotics program and you you want to find a team at a different you know to to, to connect with a team from a different. Um, part of the world and, and through GIFT you really can learn about the sorts of programs that are going on, the sorts of um, inventions that, that you know learners are working on or innovations that they're working on. So it's very inspiring and it's it's an opportunity to to just to know really what's happening out there um, and and potentially to connect with the speakers as well. Yeah, so that, that was amazing. It was great hearing from an educator's perspective about um, GIFT and reflecting on how, how GIFT has really helped an educator themselves as well as their students and really advance the world forward. So um, I think now I'd like to pass it back to um, Miss Julie and Ms., or Mr. Jake to um, talk a little bit more about GIFT. Ju Julie, how many hours do I have left? <laughs> I think we're I think we're actually two minutes over what our limit was, um, but if you want to say something in closing, Jake, uh, we can do that and we can put up the LML. Do we have a slide with the global innovation field trip um, uh, URL on it? Great. Uh, uh, there has been some wonderful comments made in the in the chat. And I would like some of these comments to be part of the uh, the video because I don't know if the chat goes along with it. But I would just like to make two a few points. Um, the The goal of this and these students that are here today are clearly exceptional, incredible students. But you do not have to be exceptional, incredible, incredible to be part of Gift. I, I am an engineer. I am an adult, and I look at some of the innovations that the students have done. And I know from an engineering point of view, they're not going to work. But that's not the goal. The goal is not that the student has done something today. The goal is that the students have gained the credibility, their, their confidence, and their skills to do something in the future. And that's really what GIFT is. It's a platform for practicing. It's a platform for showing your prototypes, for showing your ideas, and for getting feedback and connections around the world. So in 20 years, the students won't remember me, they won't remember Julie, but they will remember their experience on GIFT and how it changed their lives. Julie? I think we have some parting slides that we're um, going to add. Um, I just want to say something, Jake and Julie, GIFT is your gift to us. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. Sid is always trying to get us to go on vacation so he can take over the world, but, and he'll have his opportunity for sure. All right. Thank you. Um, session recordings can be found um, on the, it looks like my home screen in the reply tab. Thanks, Alabelle. And you can advance it. And um, please do let us know what you thought about this session um, and all the sessions that you see at GLOW. And then Glow would like you to join their community if you haven't already. It's a good community to be a part of. Thank you very much for attending today. Thank you so much, Young Innovators, for, again, being a part of uh, a program led by GIFT. And we'll see you at the January 14th, 15th Global Innovation Field Trip. Check out our website, globalinnovationfieldtrip.org. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Claire and Alavelle as well. Bye. Awesome hosting, Samia. Oh, Thank you so Jake, much. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs>
Nixon, Julima, you know what? The best Bye. gift that I've ever got in my life is gift. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you, guys. Bye. 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 Program in a bundle. That's the only thing. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sid, once you overcome your shyness, you'll be a lot better. Well, you're, just, you're a little shy. Once you overcome that, you'll you'll be okay. Uh, many people have said the opposite of that, so I'm confused now. <laughs> Bye. 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 Julie. Thank you, Alabama.